Hi guys, Kim here. Welcome to Backyard Blooms. It's been one week later since we trimmed up these boxwoods and we made this Nellie Stevens holly tree behind me into a topiary lollipop tree. So I know that it's quite intimidating to trim boxwoods and trim trees, but I hope in our video that we make it a little bit easier for you. Side by side we sway there in all the colors. That's sure something I could use. A cure for the air condition.
So these evergreens right here is a Nellie Stevens. This tree will get, I'm gonna say maybe 20 feet tall by 15 feet wide. But instead of letting them fill out like a tree or like a Christmas tree, we pruned all the bottom limbs off here. And I got some of those suckers that I still need to get off there. But we're gonna trim these up again to make them look like a little lollipop, like I had them in the prior years. something you could buy that will you can like put it on the very edge of there and it won't grow back I don't know what it is. you can see why I previously trimmed here and I trimmed there if I come back up here's another small limb here that I could probably trim off as well Let me get that right there And the other limbs look okay. I put a sheet down around the base of this tree to gather those clippings so we don't have to pick them all up by hand. This is a silky type sheet, so it's something that the clippings will just slide right off. got three more to do. One here and two more on the other side. All right guys, we got a lot done today. We pruned all of these boxwoods, which I think I have a good 75 boxwoods in this area. And I got my roses all pruned up and looking good so these boxwoods have been in for going on two and a half years and they're almost making a good hedge so they got a good trim and here's some real pretty accent fencing that we got at one of the boxwood stores and this is Boscobel Rose have a lot of blooms right now but let me see if I can get this real pretty one right here it's funny how you can see on different websites the color difference between our country different state so I saw some from the UK and their color was just a very more vibrant color than mine Here's all the boxwoods. It's pretty satisfying. See them all trimmed up. So I have four different quadrants of boxwoods surrounded with roses. One here, one here, and then on the far corner over there, And 
And then another one behind those chairs over there. I'll make my way there. And after we got the boxwoods all trimmed up, which me and my husband do pretty good teamwork, I believe, we made these little, not little anymore, these Nellie Stevens into a little, to a, that's a lot of saying out of my mouth, to a little lollipop. <laughs> but I got four of these, two on this side and two on the other side because I love symmetry. And I'll show you what a Nellie Stevens looks like when you buy them. And I'm trying to keep them in a really nice shape just for something different in my garden. So I still have a lot of work to do in this cottage garden. My super petunias are starting to look awful. It's just the heat. I think the soil in the pod is just so root bound. It's not getting much water. These look good on the surface, but look awful underneath. Well, this is our fire pit area. Definitely going to be able to enjoy that soon. It's starting to get cool here at night times. And these boxwoods really look good after being trimmed. And that's Gabrielle here. My crepe myrtle is about done blooming. May have another flush. It's got a lot of buds on it. And then my hydrangeas. I'm not in 4B or 5 or zone 6, so these are starting to look really tired. But I am trying to prune them back a little bit at a time so I can get some new growth. You never know. I may have some new ones butt up. That's after I trim those. So we'll see. And then these are these other two lollipops that we trimmed up. This one right here we did with you guys. And then the other two, we just went ahead and did without film because it's a struggle to prune, film, and then for me able to help my husband as well. So, so that one we did together. And then I did the other three without you guys, but you still get to enjoy the aftermath here. And these zinnias, oh my goodness. These zinnias are looking awesome down here. Look at all this flower power from these zinnias. Show you a little closer up. I am getting some fungus on them. That's what fungus looks like right there. So I do spray, I guess I can spray again. I'm just not sure. Powdery mildew is what that is called. And you would treat that with like copper fungus. And that's what some of these gorgeous zinnias are looking like here. I put a lot into this little garden and I'm, I don't think all the seeds came up. But this one is really pretty. I love that color. I mean, not get anything prettier than that. I mean, but it's just gorgeous. You cannot deny it. Lovely. And I do like these lime ones too, but I thought they'd be bigger than this. I have a little hummingbird here. I don't know if you could see her. <laughs> she wants to say hello to us. Or she's like, get away from my food. One or the other. I have some real pretty lilac ones. Right there. And the bumblebees. Still love this. Love these zinnias as well. And I do see the hummingbirds around them all the time. So I don't see anything different here. On this side, anyways. I have some cosmos over there that looks really pretty. You can see that bee. You can see all the big bees over here. 
Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. So let me zoom back out here and show you this quadrant of these boxwoods that we trimmed up here. And this rose is a David Austin rose as well. All of these four quadrants are. And this one is called Eustigia Ive. And this one's like a cluster rose. So you could see this cluster here. And then I have four more that are about ready to bloom out around that. So it looks pretty. And I've been treating this Oakland holly. And I've been treating this Oakland holly tree and it's starting to respond. So you can see at the very bottom, I'm starting to get some dark green there where right after I put the iron on it and treated it for fungus. And then as I move up, light green. So you could definitely tell the difference in this tree versus that tree over there. But anyways, I hope it makes a good comeback. It's already getting a good size. You hate to see something. It's like all these plants are your babies. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but I do. So I love this space. I feel like it's a room inside of a room. This one is my favorite garden by all means. I love it. All right, guys. So that's it. All right, guys. So that's it for today. I'm tired and I look like a hot mess. But anyways, we, me and my husband got a lot done. So I so appreciate him. He'll do anything that I ask him to do for me. And he doesn't complain. He's a wonderful man. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And... A little bit of tips and tricks that you've seen today while we um, got these boxwoods all trimmed up and the Nellie Stevens. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.